Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing to me? Last last time I asked, what attraction should I revisit next? And the answer I got was the Tower of Terror. Now this is a tough one because it's pretty, I'd say it's a pretty untouchable attraction. This is a very beloved attraction. I love this attraction, so let's get that straight, let's get that out of the way right away. Um, this revisiting is not me trying to say that we need to get rid of Tower of Terror and replace it. This is just, you know, a fun series where we say what if, and I get to be an Imagineer for a day and pretend, you know, to put something there. Now, I had a lot of trouble considering how to go about this, right? Because the Tower of Terror is a very specific ride uh, mechanic. It's the dropping elevator ride. And when you have a building like that, it's really tough to sort of change things up. You know, I can't really say uh, gut out the Tower of Terror and put a roller coaster there. That wouldn't make much sense. Um, and I think because I know the Tower of Terror as the Tower of Terror for so long, it's hard for me to separate the ride mechanic from an elevator mechanic. So it's hard to imagine like, oh, take away the Tower of Terror and put, you know, I don't know, Monsters, Inc. or something. Like, it's tough because I can't think of this ride as being anything but an elevator. So... I'm going to say this, there are two ways to revisit this attraction. You could revisit the ride mechanic and keep the theme, or you could revisit the theme and keep the ride mechanic. So I'd say this is an attraction that we have the ability to revisit twice. So which one am I going to revisit today? Today I'm going to revisit the ride mechanic and keep the theme. So the idea is we have this building here. We're going to take out the dropping elevator. But here's the thing, like I said, we can't just put a roller coaster in there. We can't really put a slow ride in there. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So what are you doing here? What if you take out the ride altogether and make this a walkthrough experience? Now, most of you right now are going, oh my gosh, that's so boring, Rob. You could do anything with the Tower of Terror and you decide to take out the ride and just make it a walkthrough. Hear me out. And this, uh, some of you might know where I'm going with this because I've talked about this experience a lot in the past. But uh, a couple of months back, I went to a theater show in New York City called Sleep No More. And if you've never heard of it, what Sleep No More was, was essentially a play, but rather than sitting in a theater watching people on stage perform, you know, this play, it took place over seven floors of actually a, what they call the McKittrick Hotel, so it's not too far from this. And the idea is the actors are all running around acting out the scenes at the same time. So you'd have a group on this floor, a group on the other floor, and the idea is you get to run around and follow them around. And it was such an amazing experience. It was a super immersive experience. You get, like, really, really close. Like, there were times where I would be you know, as close as a foot away from these actors acting out the scene. Now, you talk about theater and how you can, you know, feel the emotion more than film. Imagine being that close. So I'm not saying parody that completely, but imagine if you took this tower, and I'm going to fly up away from the group for a second here, and you took out the ride mechanic and created a multi-floor tower, Hollywood Tower Hotel, right? that uh, was themed to this whole Twilight Zone theme, and you created sort of a interactive and immersive walkthrough experience. So not the sort of thing where you're going from A to B to C to D, and then you walk out the exit and it's over, but this sort of thing where, you know, they let in X amount of people per, you know, hour, and you have that time to explore and explore all the details and learn the story of, you know, the legend of the Tower of Terror through that and through actors acting out scenes. And yeah, it doesn't have the thrill of the drop mechanic, but can you say that there's anything remotely like that in theme parks? You've got Sleep No More in New York. You've got, I think London has a variant of that where it was sort of originated from. But even that idea of sort of that immersive you know, interactive theater where you're walking around is a very new idea, and I think that would be fantastic. Now, the one fault there is that Disney very much is big on getting as many people through attractions as possible, and this is not a format that would really be, um, uh, lend itself to that. It wouldn't, you know, you'd have, I don't know, 100, 200 people at a time per hour. That's a very, very low turnaround for an attraction. So this really is sort of head in the clouds imagining, but... Uh, I think it would be really, really cool, just because when I think of the Tower of Terror, you know, yeah, the, the ride itself is really fun. Let's see how many people get in here. Let's see how many people hop in. Uh, the ride itself is extremely fun, 
But really what sells it for me is the theming. I love the Tower of Terror. I love the 1930s, that Hollywood era. The I love the Twilight Zone. I just, everything about it is really great. And I think any sort of uh, attraction experience where I'd get to sort of more immerse myself into that time. Like imagine, think of, you know, uh, the Hollywood, what are they called? The Hollywood players. Of course, now I'm blanking out here. But uh, they have actors who walk around the parks and they will act out little skits. And it's really fun because it's right up there. It's a very personal and close experience because you're very close to them and you're just sitting there and watching. Now imagine if they were acting out scenes for like a Tower of Terror-esque story. And then on top of that, you know, there are people who have done Sleep No More many, many times. I'm talking... 10, 20, 30, there are people who like hold the record of going like 60 or 70 times, which is crazy, I think. But uh, it, part of the reason that they can do that is because there's so much that it's impossible to see everything in one ride through or walk through or experience. So you'd have that sort of element here where, you know, you'd have a reason to go on it multiple times because there'd be actors you haven't followed before, stories you haven't caught on, details you just never experienced before. And I think it would be a really, really cool thing to do. And I wonder if you played with it and used the space, maybe there'd be a way to, like, duplicate it and make a second hotel behind it, but cover it up so... I don't know. That's Now I'm th trying to, like, make it an actual <laughs> uh, possible idea, but this doesn't seem like Disney's thing. But there you have it. I mean, that's just one quick way that I would re revisit the Tower of Terror, which is a tough topic to cover because, you know, like I said... This is a ride I really, really love, and I actually don't hope it changes. This is one of the few where I'd rather it stay the same, but I think this is a fun experiment. Uh, and like I said, there are ways to revisit it again in the future. We could t toy around with keeping the elevator drop ride, but then getting rid of the Tower of Terror theme and putting something else there. Uh, anyway, I want to know, what would you do with the Tower of Terror? Now, of course, you could say you want to keep it the same, and that's the safe answer. But let's say you're an Imagineer, and they say, we're getting rid of the Tower of Terror. What do we put in its place? What would you put? I want to hear that in the comments below. Oh, I got pulled in. Uh, I also want to hear what attraction should I revisit next. This is always fun to do, and I try and base all these decisions off of what you guys are asking for. So... Let me know what you want to see me revisit. Let me know how you revisit this one. Uh, if you want to follow me on the social networks, I'm at Rob Plays on Twitter. You can tell me there what you think of this idea. Uh, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Rob Plays That Game. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope whatever you do this week, you make the most of it because it makes it that much better. Oh, there's the elevator. Let's go ride it. Uh, and I hope to see you next time for the next episode of Revisiting Disney. Bye, everybody.